First light of morning, I'm back out on the beach, and so are the shorebirds. If you look closely, some of these birds have lake bands, like these knots. The orange bands indicate that they were captured and marked in Patagonia, at the southern tip of South America. These birds are one of the longest distance migrants in the world, making a nearly 10,000 mile trip one way from their wintering grounds to the high Arctic to breed. It's no mistake that they're here on this beach. The morning after these horseshoe crabs spawn, we see a spectacle of shorebirds that come here to feed on horseshoe crab eggs. And the bird that's most plentiful right here behind me is a bird that is in decline throughout its range, and it's one that we're extremely worried about, the red knot. This bird has traveled thousands of miles to be here. They spend the winter way down in southern South America and fly all the way here without eating much. So they've expended a lot of energy traveling those thousands of miles to reach the shores of Beaufort County. And by the time they get here, they're emaciated. They've lost half or more of their body weight and they need to replenish those stores of fat and muscle that they've expended getting here. So these staging areas, these areas that have strong populations of horseshoe crabs, that have millions of eggs, that fat-rich and protein-rich diet that they need, are extremely important to conserving the red knot. Red knots have declined everywhere, but in the Arctic where they breed, the high Arctic, recent breeding surveys have turned up just a fraction of the number of red knots that we used to see. Shorebird populations have crashed, corresponding to a decrease in the horseshoe crabs. To preserve these beautiful birds like the red knot that are out here feeding and feasting on horseshoe crabs, we have to preserve the horseshoe crab, especially in these critical staging areas. It's just one of the other things that makes Port Royal Sound and the Beaufort County beaches so vitally important.